Derek, do you like this mix of coaches they've brought in? They've got two former NHL head coaches. Glenn Gullitson has coached both Calgary and Dallas. John Yanni coached a year and a bit with the Chicago Blackhawks a few years ago. Um, is it, it could be a case of too many chefs, not enough cooks? It, may, it might be, and I think uh, Todd McClellan alluded to that in, in his conference call that sometimes um, your voices get lost when there's too many voices. They all come in here uh, with different ideas how to do things, and I think it's going to have to be a real collaboration between the coaching staff. It's, it's no longer the head coach kind of telling the assistants what to do. Now it's kind of a, a collaboration of ideas, and, and they brought in two really experienced coaches, and I think now it'll still be Todd will still have the final say, but now I think there'll, there'll be a bit more input from the coaching staff, from Gullicks and from Ioni, uh, when it comes to doing things a different way. Could this moves today, bringing in Gullicks and Ioni, could this be a bit of a contingency plan for the orders in case things really do go sideways at the beginning of next year? I mean, you know, Todd McClellan was retained and the orders mm-hmm. made a point of saying he's staying. But, you know, there's the feeling is if the orders perform the way they did last year, are sputtering before Christmas, could we see a move made? Could Gullitson, say, be put in the head coaching role if uh, need be? Yeah, I think that played a big role in this because I think the owners recognize that they cannot have a season next season like they had last season. They cannot be out of the playoffs by January. And so if things do go south early, if, if, if the team struggles out of the gate, that they struggle in October, if they struggle in November, and, and things are kind of wobbling in December, they have a guy now in Gullicks who can just step into that number one chair. But I think they do need someone there with NHL experience, with experience running the bench. And you have two guys there now that can do it. So if things don't work out well with Todd McClellan, um, he probably knows he's on a very short leash and he knows that if his team is not playing well by January and things are looking a little rocky, uh, Glenn Gullickson can easily step in there and, and try to rescue the day, per se. Mm-hmm.